guys, it's Clay. I'm back with another Axe Effects 2 and Eureka Prom video. I have one that I made a little while back, uh, but I wanted to do an update because things have changed. Um, I have since upgraded. I was previously using the Eureka Prom version 1.1, and now I am on the Eureka Prom 2.0, which I believe is their most current. Um, and I upgraded because the 2.0 has some really, really nice features. And in my opinion, makes up for a lot of the weaknesses and the things that I was kind of annoyed with. I don't know if that's the right word, but things that I wish that the 1.1 could do, the 2.0 fixes. So I want to kind of cover, you know, you can watch the videos on their website. They do a really nice job of walking you through the, the stock setup. And I don't have a ton changed, just a little bit. But I wanted to walk you through, kind of give you a practical perspective of how I actually use it and why I made the change. So first of all, um, uh, I'm plugged into my XFX2 with my Telecaster. And uh, I want to show you some stuff. So first of all, I'm in my effects mode. Um, and I've got, so you've got here, we've got Overdrive 1, which I think is a fuzz. Actually, that's this is my Fender patch, so it's just a regular Overdrive pedal. It's a love pedal. Clean. I don't have anything on Overdrive 2 on this patch. And then I've got my two delays. This is a dotted eighth. nice. I think this is a chorus and vibe, but I don't know if I have that on this preset. Um, and then this is also not set up. But um, the main change that I made to effects mode is that I have my tap tempo here on 5. I believe in the stock setting has it on the multi-delay. Um, so I changed it to tap tempo, which has been really, really useful. Um, and then I have number 10 is my tuner on and off. So in effects mode I can basically get all the sounds that I want. And this is how I pretty much used it with the old setting. I just left it in effects mode and I would use uh, this kind of setup basically with the two drives, the two delays. I think I maybe even had a reverb XY. I'll show that off on a different patch. But <clears throat> the main reason why I switched is because so you have presets mode which I'm in now and you do all these wonky things where you can get through your banks of presets if you want. Like if you're the kind of guy who plays a set with a lot of different um, sounds or tone, like you want to go from preset to preset and you want to use hundreds of presets throughout a set, uh, this would be for you. Then you can just go like up and down like that, uh, 11, 10, 9, 8. Um, but I don't use preset mode. But what I do use is um, this favorite preset mode. What I've done is I've saved up on the top row, I've saved my six favorite patches. So I've got um, here. I think this is my my Stratocaster with my Mar and this is more tuned for the Telecaster. And this is for the P90 Tele. So these three are kind of my core Marshall Crunch Tones for my main guitar types. I've got two Strats, two Telecasters, and a P90 guitar. Um, and then this is my clean. I, I was just playing on that patch. Just a Fender Twin. And then this, this last one here is my Shimmer Reverb preset that I've been really wanting to experiment with.
And the reason why I've saved my favorite presets on the top row is because you have this other mode. If you go to effects mode um, and hold the up button, you enter effects plus presets mode. And this is really cool. So, um, so on the top row, I've got those favorite presets that I stored. Six, seven, eight. So I've got Strat, Tele, P90, Clean, Shimmer. So no matter what guitar I'm using, I've got a crunch tone, a clean tone, and the shimmer tone. And then on the bottom, I've got those core foot switches. So let's go back to the marsh. This is a fuzz. Um, so I've got access to all of the, basically everything I want in this EP mode. Uh, so I've got my, so I can switch if I need to, to a clean tone. But I still have access to my delays. I think the tap tempo changed because I don't have this one set to global, but I can fix that. Um, and then I can go to my shimmer whenever I want. Some really like spacious things. And then back to the Marshall for the next song. Um, and then also that's not the end of it. So basically when I'm playing live at church, this is exactly what I want. I've got my core stop boxes and I've got the opportunity to go to different presets if I want. Um, but then also what makes this really, really nice is that I also have this special mode, which is a looper. So before what I would have to do is, I think I was in effects mode and I just set six, seven, and eight to be like record, dub, and on and off or something like that. And it was really annoying because sometimes it would kind of interfere with things and you know, you don't always want the looper on, but you want it as an option. And it kind of made things really clunky. So having it in this special mode is really, really handy. So let's go back to the effects. So let's fit, let's let's pick the amp I want. I want to go to my favorite presets. Let's go to the clean fender. Go to the looper.
I need to. I'm still getting used to it because um, I just f exactly got this installed about 15 minutes ago. But I'm really, really happy with the improvements that they made in version 2.0. It really allows me to get everything that I would want to. You know, even if out of the, um, you can do scenes in this as well. If you go to preset mode, I believe it's uh, button 9, will allow you to access any of the eight scenes in an instant you want. Um, there's just so many different things that you can do. It, it just, it really gives you everything you would want in version 2.0. Whereas before, I had to kind of make some, I, I don't know exactly what the word is, but you know, I, I wouldn't be able to get everything that I absolutely wanted to out of the FCB 1010, but I didn't want to upgrade because it was so expensive. Well, now you've got a really, you know, this thing is cheap, it's durable, it's replaceable. Um, the prom is only like, you know, 20 bucks. It's it's really, really worth it, in my opinion. Um, I even, I think I've even got, I don't know if I have it all set up, but like, you can calibrate the foot switches. I've got this one for volume. I've got this one for wah, even though I don't really use those very much. You know, you can basically get everything you would want to do with the new Eureka Prom 2.0. So anyways, I'm very happy with it, and it does everything that I would want or need. And so I just wanted to show a little bit of a demonstration of uh, what, why I upgraded and what I do with it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.